Here, Vince Parra, we just watched the Danny Garcia Mauricio Herrera match. So what, what did you think of the fight? Uh, I thought Mauricio Herrera won the fight. Uh, it was close, but um, and I think Dan, Dan. Let me get. I was picking Danny. I picked Danny. You know, I talked to you about him the other day. Um, but I think that Styles make fights, and I, maybe they overlooked this guy a little bit. Um, but I think Mauricio Herrera um, did more than enough to win the fight, and uh, I feel bad for him. But they had to protect what they were, were building up here, which is uh, you know trying to get Danny followed by the Puerto Ricans. And I, I, Danny's a great fighter. I think maybe he overlooked him a little bit, yeah. but I think uh, Herrera did enough. I and I think Danny knows that too. He's a real cat. But uh, boxing politics being what they are, um, you know, he's not going to get a chance. So uh, that was tough, tough to watch, but it was a great fight. And uh, like I said, big ups to Mauricio Herrera. I think he should be the, uh, the champion right now. Well, how did open scoring affect things? Like, it's kind of like after fourth, eighth round. Well, like- you can tell after the, uh, going into the 12th, uh, Garcia's corner knew that they won the fight already because his dad didn't, there was no urgency. When they obviously knew that he was losing the fight. If you're in the corner, you know your guy when your guy's getting touched. And uh, he was losing the fight. So there was no sense of urgency going into the last round. It was kind of just more like keep your hands up. And, uh, you know, but they, so they knew. Personally to me, they, they knew that they already knew what, what was happening. They just knew he had to make it through the round in order to win. So I think that the open scoring is, I mean, if we're going to do that, we might as well just score every, t- every time someone wins a round. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, but I, I think that the scoring needs to be kept as it is. And, um, you know, because if not, then things like this will happen. You saw when he came out, we all knew that that, to me, watching it here, uh, I said that fight could have gone either way going into the 12th round. And I just saw Garcia's corner. It was his show. It was his, his uh, spotlight. And that's what happened, you know, big ups. He got the win. But I think personally, I think Mauricio Herrera deserves to be the, uh, the champion. All right, and last thing uh, I was going to ask, what about Danny Garcia's future? Like, what does fight to tell you anything about him, and what about him eventually going to 147, his future? <clears throat> well, they're going to have to go. I mean, he's still world ch- he's the world champ. You know, he had everybody can have a bad, anybody can have a bad night. He, he, had, he had an off night. He had a real capable opponent. Like I said, he had the, that guy, you can't overlook that guy. He's rugged, he's tough, and, you know, he, he snuck up on him a little bit. But I think, like he said, he didn't want to really make 140 anymore. I think it's 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 business at this point. He's won the belts. He needs to probably move up and maneuver himself um, in the Floyd sweepstakes so he can capitalize while Floyd's still um, the most lucrative guy out there. And he's in that association being with Al Heyman. So that's how I feel about that. Is it, now it's about getting that money.